Okay, everybody. Um, can you can you all hear me? <laughs> Excellent. All right. Um, well, we have uh, we might have some new people on tonight, and I just want to uh, I'm just going to speak for a few minutes about some things that I've learned uh, on my journey in this business. So first, for whoever is new, uh, I just want to say congratulations and welcome to your Juice Plus journey. And you most likely don't know uh, what to expect when you sign your distributor application, but I can probably uh, guarantee that most people feel two things um, that's pretty universal um, that, that I felt and I hear other people say. And one is I'm not a salesperson. <laughs> and, um, and two is, you know, questioning, can I do this? And I'm here to tell you a resounding yes. Yes, you can. If you have the desire, um, desire is a big one. And just being patient with yourself in being teachable and learning some new skills. And um, one of, I was thinking about this little training today and um, one of my absolute favorite books, it's a children's book. And I, I, I'm sure a lot of you have read it, but um, it's called The Places You'll Go by Dr. Zeus. Um, I don't have the book with me, um, but this is the little card and that's the, that's the cover of the book. And the theme of this treasured, timeless storybook tale is about self-confidence and identity and acknowledging, you know, future failures and working hard and, you know, getting back up when you get slumped. Um, you know, and the, the morals are, are universal into any meaningful endeavor. Um, the, the, to success. So the book is really for adults. This is why I love it so much. But um, one of the lines from this book is, um, I'm sorry to say, but sadly, it's true that bang ups and hang ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump. And the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And as we say in our business, you know, there's no straight line. Um, and, you know, that's good because life would be too predictable. So the message is, you know, embrace this journey because it truly is the most fulfilling part of your growth um, is that, you know, it's getting there is incredible but the journey to get there is what is all the meaning is about um, in, this, in this journey. So um, I'm just gonna share a few tips um, from what I've learned. And um, the first thing right off the bat is, you know, be, be proud of what you're doing and connect to why you're doing it. And the way we do this is, you know, to connect to our education, these calls that you're on tonight, um, just our community as much as possible. Um, when I was growing my business, I used my, my windshield time um, as much as I could to listen on calls and get those trainings and the nutrition education was huge um, for me. So, you know, I always say, if, if you're not connected, um, you're not inspired. So it will give you, you know, self-confidence, um, I think to center yourself um, you know, knowing that you're with the right product, with the right company, you know, with the right tribe. And, um, you know, people want to know, you know, obviously what you're doing, but they want to know why you're doing it. Because ultimately, they're not just buying a product, they're buying you. So the way that you present it and, and why you're doing it um, is going to be that's what they're really going to be listening for, um, you know, sort of not what you say, but how you say it. And one of the first books that I read that really resonated with me is this book by Simon Sinek, and it's Start With Why. It's, it's been around a while, but it's just one of those classic books um, that I think really um, zeroes in um, on some really great principles um, that are so, like, foundational. Um, in this business. 
And so the next thing is to keep your message simple. Um, you know, you, you be the message, but rely on the health professionals to be like the messenger um, and that validation, you know, of the product. And, you know, I, I find that when someone is really ready to buy Juice Plus, um, you almost, you really want it to be their idea, not yours. And that third party validation is key. Um, you know, that three-way call or um, a health professional um, CD or, you know, a short video, um, just that validation, you know, that's, you know, other than yourself, um, you know, they might hear from a friend or somebody else that, you know, that will be yet another exposure for them. So, um, you know, and it's, it's, if you don't know the answer to a question either, that is perfectly fine. Some people, you know, come into this business and they think, oh my gosh, I have to know everything. You know, I have to know all the answers. And two things, one, no, you don't. And two is you'll never learn, you know, like everything that you need to learn. I mean, people do, you know, throw a lot of different questions at you, but, um, you, you don't, you only need to know a, a very few um, to get started. And it's totally fine to say, you know, I don't know the answer to that. It's a great question, um, but I'll get back to you, you know, with the answer. And um, another thing I've learned is um, it's not about you. Um, you know, it's, it's really all about the person you're talking to. And another book that really helped me with this um, was um, a book called The Four Agreements. And I remember Susan Wittenbach, who's on the phone, she told me about this book. And um, I loved it because it was short. <laughs> I'm like, oh, good, I a short book. Um, but it's by uh, Miguel Ruiz. And he, he's just got four principles in this sweet little book. But again, it's, it's one of those, you know, profound, um, you know, little things that can sit by your bed and what um, he says is basically, you know, be impeccable with your word. Um, don't take anything personally and don't make assumptions and always do your best. And I find that if I, you know, you, we stick with those principles, um, really things, things don't go wrong because you're sharing from your heart and you are doing your best and people always see that. Um, so, you know, um, don't be discouraged um, by the no's. You know, if you're doing the activity of having active conversations, you know, our business really is a numbers game. Um, and there's a great book called Go for No by Richard Fenton. And he says that a yes is the easy part of the job, you know, we all get excited when we get a yes, 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 yes. But it means that you've gone through, you know, a lot of no's um, to get there. So, you know, the um, you're honing an important skill through the no's and really learning that art of conversation. So if you get into a slump, you know, don't slump along, call your sponsor, um, you know, if you doubt yourself, because you don't want to stay in that prickly perch um, and, you know, sometimes the first three people you talk to, um, you know, may not be interested in Juice Plus, especially if they're your family members. Sometimes family members are definitely the toughest. Um, you'll speak to your first three family members and they're not interested and you think, oh, you know, I can't do this. Um, but that's not true. <laughs> um, sometimes it's easier to talk to strangers than it is to your family, but, um, so our, our business is a series of exposures. It's kind of, you know, the long game. So it's, it's definitely normal to have a no and a bad day at the office, um, but your sponsor is there to help you, you know, and kind of help pick yourself up the floor. And so don't keep that to yourself. You know, if you're feeling down and, oh, I've had a bad day, you know, call your sponsor or, or their, their sponsor. You know, there's a whole plethora of a community of people um, to, to help you. So, the, you know, they're, they're there to get you through that. And, you know, the goal is really to be a more, to me, more effective, right? You know, not, not to be perfect. And, um, you know, the next time, you, you know, you'll learn to have more of a, a effective conversations because you're gaining, you know, these skills with each time you talk to people. 
Um, and I always think I liken it to, you know, being a brand new baby. Um, you know, we don't walk right away, right? We, we crawl and we fall down and um, we pick ourselves up. And that's kind of, you know, the way it is. And just, you know, embrace, embrace the suck <laughs> sometimes, you know, so to speak. Um, and, you know, just try not to get like hung up on the outcome, you know, it's, this is the long game and you're investing in relationships with your customers and your partners and, um, you know, just being, especially with your partners, um, understanding that, you know, it's, it's their timeline, not yours. You know, sometimes we get so excited and we want this for them so badly. And, um, but we always have to remember that it's their timeline and, um, you know, respectful of that. And I think if you do, um, you will find that your customers and your team members um, stick around for a very, very long time. I mean, you heard some of the people on the call tonight, you know, my team members, they've, they've been around a long time and they've had incredible journeys with that and with this, and they've gone off and they've done other things, but you know, they're still, they're still here. And um, that not only is financially the, you know, the bread and butter of your business, but it is the richness of your relationships with, with people, having these deep relationships that last over time. And that to me is, it, it's so precious, you know? I mean, there's nothing more um, special than that. So, um, and then, you know, being a good listener. I mean, that's, that's absolutely for anything. I was at my business networking group today and, you know, we went around the room and every single business owner said that being a good listener is like, their superpower. Um, and it is the hard, I think it's one of the hardest things to learn because, um, you know, active listening, I remember I have to work very hard to not spin in my head a response to when somebody is speaking. Cause you know, you, you want to almost think, okay, what am I going to say to this person? But if you can kind of just relax into the conversation and watch their body language and really hear what they're saying, um, and obviously that's not always possible, right? If you're, you know, got three kids in your arms and you're in the supermarket and, you know, time is short, um, you know, you can actively listen in very short snippets. But um, if you ask a clarifying conversation, it gives that person something to consider um, or think about the, before you have that next conversation or exposure with them. Um, so I've, I've really worked on my active listening and, um, I can tell you people really, really appreciate it. Um, we don't listen to people enough in this world. And, and I know that I get a good response when I, I practice that. Um, and then just, um, a word about balance. Um, you know, everybody wants balance in their life. I remember saying that to my sponsor, Pammy. I was like, I want to be balanced. I want to be balanced. And she would kind of roll her eyes and say, well, you know, you're not going to be balanced all the time if you're trying to reach goals. And, um, you know, most of the time you can have balance in this business. That is for sure, because it's meant to be a part-time business um, for the many you know, but it can turn into a full-time business with a full-time income and benefits. But, you know, there are times in our business, if we're trying to reach a goal, um, you know, you can, you can get a little off balance for a short time, you know, that when you want to reach this goal, because, um, you know, there are these midway points and they're important to reach if you've got these financial goals. And, you know, if you miss the goal, you have to go back and reset it. And, you know, and that's okay. But in, in our business, it's really easier to go fast than it is to go slow. Um, so, you know, reaching these key positions, you know, getting that partner plus, if you can get one customer, you know, you can get another and you can get another. Um, so, you know, working up that ladder of QSC, SC, SSC, um, you know, you might get a little, you're going, you're going to get off balance um, a little bit. You're going to feel um, that, you know, you have to put the pedal to the metal, but just for these short times while you reach these goals. And then you can, you know, take a breath and then, you know, go for the next goal, sort of chunk it down that way. But, you know, take it from me, it took me nine years to reach National Marketing Director. And I honestly, I got stuck at Q. 
um, for a long time. And looking back on it, I, I didn't have, you know, a strong enough why, and it was just, you know, my timing. Um, but one day my husband came home and said he'd left his job and he was just, you know, unhappy. He was, he was done. And he just said, you know, the stress right now is not worth it. And, but I was supportive of that. But what happened was it left us without health insurance. And you can imagine, do you think that put a fire <laughs> under me with, uh, we have three kids, you know, there were five of us and we were paying now for our own health insurance. And um, that was my, you know, that was my big why. And within six months, I put the pedal to the metal, got unbalanced. Um, and from conference to conference, I reached that NMD position. Um, so just like I said, every, everybody has their own journey on their own time and you know nothing I think my sponsor could have said to me um, would have motiv motivated me you know it was it was about me it was on you know it was it was my time time frame so um, you know just to in Dr. Seuss's words today is your day and your mountain is waiting so get on your way um, so anyway, that's my, my training and um, I'm going to stop the recording and then I can take some questions. Okay. Uh, hold on one second, Lolly. I'm, I reclaimed the host. I got you. Okay. okay. Yeah. Right. I'm stopping it.